Hi everyone, it's me, Dr. Sara today. Welcome back to Smart Braces and Invisalign. Hello to all my existing subscribers. I hope you're all keeping well and hi to any new subscribers. Uh, if you are new to this channel, then please do hit that subscribe button and then also hit the bell notification button underneath to make sure you receive updates to all of our new and brilliant videos. We have an ever-growing library of all things teeth and brace related. I'm sure you'll find them useful. But today's video is all about the stages of gum disease. Now, gum disease is a really common problem in the worldwide population. It's estimated that approximately 75% of US adults suffer from gum disease or have suffered from it at some point and 90% of UK adults also have suffered from it at some point in some degree. So it is a worldwide problem and the consequences of it can be quite bad if it's not treated early. In this video I'm going to be discussing the various stages of gum disease and what you can expect to happen at the various stages if it's left untreated. When you go to the dentist your dentist will check whether or not you have gum disease by doing something called a periodontal examination. Now this involves probing your gums very lightly with a metal probe and they insert the probe in the area between your gum and your tooth and they measure the depth that the probe is able to be inserted. Now, if you have healthy gums and you don't suffer from gum disease, then that probing depth, which is what we call it, will be between one to three millimeters. And provided your gums aren't bleeding, you don't have any sensitivity, then you don't have gum disease. In this situation, your gums will be pink, they'll be healthy, and they hug the tooth quite nicely. And this shows that you have very healthy gums and you don't have gum disease. And all you need to do is to keep maintaining that healthy mouth and we call this stage one. Stage two is the early onset of gum disease, also known as gingivitis. And this is indicated by a pocket depth of approximately three to four millimeters. So the probe that we insert can be inserted slightly deeper, approximately three to four millimeters. Gingivitis is caused when bacteria start to build up in the plaque and on the surface of your teeth. They multiply in huge numbers. So if you had a look at a little bit of plaque under a microscope, you would see it is filled with hundreds and thousands of bacteria squirming around. It really isn't a pretty sight. And this causes the gums to become red and slightly inflamed. If this is left untreated, it can progress to stage three, which is a more aggressive form of gum disease. Symptoms in stage three, well, the gums are a lot more tender. The pocket depth is about five to seven millimeters. So that probe depth goes down quite deep about five to seven millimeters, the gums bleed easily, they're a lot more red, they're more inflamed. Now in stage three, the bacteria continue to multiply and they spread and they go under the gums and they really irritate the gums and they also affect the underlying bone that supports the tooth. The recommended treatment for gum disease at stage four would involve scaling, root planing. Root planing is basically a type of deep cleaning that goes beneath the gum surface so that the roots of the tooth are clear of bacteria because it's this area that the bacteria really like to hide, you know, it's snug, it's away from where your toothbrush is, from where food um, comes into contact with your teeth, it's hidden away and these bacteria thrive in these conditions. In addition to scaling and root planing, some periodontists or dentists might like to apply a local antibiotic and this also has the effect of killing any bacteria that are in that area. This allows the gums to heal and to fight any infection. As gum disease progresses to stage four, the pocket depths increase to eight to nine millimeters. So that's really quite large uh, probing depth. So it's almost a centimeter that we can stick that probe in. Accompanying this, you get further deterioration of the bone, supporting the teeth, the gums. It can get a little bit downhill from here if you don't get this treated and seen to. The teeth can become loose, the roots get exposed and for the bone around the tooth is lost. In addition to this, the bacteria also like to invade the blood supply around the tooth and bacteria and their toxins like to enter the bloodstream and studies have shown that our general health can be affected by gum disease. So this is another reason why it's so important that you treat this early on. In addition to the scaling and the root planing and the local antibiotic that will be provided during stage four, sometimes teeth need to be extracted and also in addition to this, sometimes regenerative procedures can be done during stage four. 
In all cases, I want to reassure you that gum disease is treatable. So whether you have stage one or you have stage four, it is treatable. Please rest assured that gum disease can be treated so long as you go to your dentist or your periodontist to get this done. It can be reversed with really good oral care and regular visits to your dentist and hygienist. Unfortunately, the more aggressive severe forms where bone is lost can't be reversed. So this is why it's really important that you do catch it early on. And your dentist will recommend the best form of treatment for you. Essentially, oral care starts at home. So your dentist can recommend a really good oral care routine for you. They'll recommend good quality equipment and tools and you know mouthwashes, toothpastes that will work for you. You can get a customized treatment plan and a list of products from your dentist to make sure that you keep on top of your gum health. I really can't emphasize how important it is to have good, healthy gums. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new to this channel. And also while you're there, make sure you hit the bell notification button underneath to make sure you receive updates for all of our new and fantastic videos. Please do leave me a comment in the comments section below. Perhaps you've tackled gum disease. How was the journey for you? I'd love to hear from you. Thank you very much again. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.